man and man, girl and girl, like they're both as bad. Like it's just not natural whatsoever. They're all acting the same. They've got no character whatsoever, really. Like since the start, it's been boy and girl, and that's the way it should be. Like I don't care if that's where you think it is. Like it's not natural, so you just you just play into the crowd, really. Like, and as far as like the characters or the way people perceive them, they're just exactly how exactly what you expect like all the guys come over tottering about being all girly and that's just that's just horrible and then the girls all big and butch and burly like it's just mouthing off all the time i just can't i just can't fucking stand them at all like you go you go out you go not have been gay. It's just like, um, I've had girlfriends and stuff just to kind of prove that I'm not. And the, what, uh, the more you, you like live with a lie, the more you realise that the only person you're lying to is yourself. I think my mum and dad are just coming round to accepting it now because my mum's beginning to ask me questions like, oh, have you got a boyfriend? And um, like, I'm happy for you and things like that. When I was straight, I didn't really bring up the fact that I had a girlfriend in conversation. So I didn't see the, like why I should change because I'm gay. I didn't think just because I'm gay, I'm not going to bring it up in conversation and things like that. I'm viewed myself as being a straight guy until I, I tell people because I'm not exactly camp. I won't go around mincing down streets and um, you know acting necessarily out of place or acting not as anybody else does because I've I've never been anything but myself. So I don't see why now I'm gay I should put an act on, try and be somebody I'm not. I've got a cousin who's um, he's gay and not out, but to anybody else, it seemed the most homophobic person he'd ever come across, and that's because he's insecure in himself. So because he doesn't want anybody thinking it, is so negative. Maybe it's a security issue where people say stuff like that just to get a reaction off people. I mean. In a way, that's what I was looking for. If I would say something about gay people being sick and disgusting, if somebody said to me, hang on, uh, that's not necessarily true, then I'd feel a bit more secure about actually saying, going a bit more with telling them things. A stereotype isn't a nice thing because a stereotype itself excludes somebody from society itself. Like working down at Sport City, there's, I worked at the tennis centre, and I know that there is gay, or, gay only tennis teams and that goes with like athletics teams and things like that from what I know I don't think they, they should just be exclusively gay only teams if you're comfortable with yourself you're comfortable with your own sexuality then I don't see why it should be a case of like well we'll band ourselves together and exclude ourselves from everybody else because that doesn't help a stereotype in itself there is quite a lot of people that would fit the stereotype I mean Really camp guys wearing really flamboyant clothes, like really bright colours and really tight pants and referring to each other as her. I mean, then if somebody says, right, he's a puff, then you can, I can see where, what they mean by that. But to like tar everybody with the same brush is not necessarily right. I, I think everybody's an individual. A Christian believes that God makes you and he knows you before you're born and he he makes you the way he wants you to be. So if that's the case and he makes you the way he wants you to be, then why does he make you gay if it's going to be against his law? When I was younger in high school, uh, I've always found girls attractive, um, but they've always said in like PSE lessons it's, it's normal to find the opposite sex attractive. So I just thought, oh, it's normal. 
it'll go. <laughs> and then you get to college and then you actually realise that there are gay people around and you think, oh, maybe I am actually gay then. I said to my friends when I thought I was gay, I said, what would you think if I had a girlfriend? And uh, they said, well, one girl said, it's, it's fine, I wouldn't think anything. And one girl said, I would never speak to you ever again. <laughs> she was a bit disgusted by it. But she's alright now. If people react to me and my girlfriend in the street, I get a little bit embarrassed. Because we've had people shout, ah, oh, lesbians, stuff like that, dyke. And I'm like, ooh, woohoo, like I didn't know, sort of thing. But it, it gets a little bit embarrassing and it's upsetting sometimes. Sometimes I've gone into Manchester, like the gay village, and people have looked like and said, oh, you don't look like real lesbians because we've not got like short hair. And um, But sometimes you've had nice comments like, oh, it's nice to see a girly couple together. I feel the same as everyone else, but it gets me worried because I think that they're not thinking of me the same as everyone else, which could be my own paranoia more than anything because they might not be thinking that. There's lipstick lesbians, which we've, me and my girlfriend have been called before, like sort of girly lesbians, um, the, the femmes and the fakes. If I see a lesbian with long hair and I think no she's not gay but I'm just doing what they do to me so I feel a bit bad then. Other lesbians won't look at me and think that I'm a lesbian which gets me a little bit sad because I want them to know I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Homosexual stereotypes to me are probably the same as what everyone else's views on stereotypes are like for the girls, the butch lesbians and the camp boys but I know that there's lots of other people that don't fit that stereotype. I don't know if you can beat them. You might be able to. If more lesbians come out. <laughs> more girly lesbians and more manly boys come out as gay, then that might be it. <laughs>
you know, I think it's a lot of people who haven't met gay people before, you know, who don't have a gay friend or something that tend to think those things. But when they meet someone, they're like, oh, actually, you know, like not all gay people are like that kind of thing. Um, so I think it's just about um, making people aware. I think that, like, you know, just to treat, you know, treat the gay people and lesbian people, you know, as as normal, you know, don't make a big deal of it. Like, if you meet someone for the first time, don't be worried about talking about it because they're probably just as nervous, you know, about bringing it up in front of you than anything else. So if you're going to ask a question, ask a question, um, you know, because it's it's nice for the other person to break the ice, you know, sometimes, and then you're like, Phew, right now I can talk about it, do you know what I mean? So. Guys, like the way that they're dressing and all tight pants and pink and all these stupid haircuts, like it's just I don't I just really don't see why they're doing it. Like they're not they're not challenging everyone. Everyone just thinks that they're dickheads. Like it's just I just can't stand it whatsoever. And they just come over and it's like we're try, us normal people are trying to get on with our normal lives, while there's these people just coming around like tottering about and just being a massive distraction. Like they should get they should get a hobby. Or something to just do something with the lies instead of putting the sexuality on sh on show like 24/7. Like, to be honest, I think there should be like laws against it. Like, I think it's come on, it's like the 21st century. It's about time we crack down on these this kind of thing and these kind of people. Like laws against it that you know they should be enforced properly. And starting with you know not being in the same places, just moving on to just not being at all.